And now, the 22 News Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Chris Bozakis. It's going to be a hot day once again. We do have temperatures out there already approaching 70 degrees. You're putting the kids in the bus this morning around 70. Going into the afternoon, we're going to be right back into the low to mid 90s. There are some early school dismissals rolling on the bottom of your screen. Also, you can find those on WWLP.com. But for right now, let's check in with 20 News reporter Duncan McLean, who's live in Agawam right now. Duncan, how's it feeling out there? Well, Chris, as far as, you know, 70 degree mornings go, this one's the most comfortable, I think, of these that we've seen this week. You'll notice the humidity when you walk out your door today, but it's a little cooler than at least yesterday than it was at this hour. The sunrise is a bit hazy coming up over the horizon right now. I did peek at the AQI scores. They're at moderate levels this morning, but just barely over that yellow line. Mostly ozone driving up those levels with just a hint of fine particle pollution. But again, a relatively comfortable morning Morning, considering the circumstances when you're staring at 90 degrees later in the afternoon, this is as good as we can ask for, Chris. Yeah, actually, the humidity levels are just a little lower than what we saw yesterday, but that's not going to change as we go into the afternoon. We are going to be seeing these humidity levels definitely rise and be where we were yesterday. And of course, that has prompted the heat advisory to be extended until 8 p.m. for tomorrow evening now on Friday. But for right now, again, Springfield pretty quiet out there. As Duncan mentioned, a little bit of a haze out here. That's just because of some low, uh, low, uh, low ozone at the moment, some high level particles uh, in the atmosphere. But overall, uh, as the morning goes on, a lot of that will burn off and any fog out there will burn off as well. But right now, temperatures were starting to warm up a little bit, but still in the 60s out there for most of us, a little warmer as you head off to the east here, Palmer 74 degrees. And as we go throughout the day, we are going to be seeing the heat index values back to around 100 degrees for the afternoon. So 7 o'clock this morning, not too bad feeling like we're, we're where we should be right now in the 70s. But then we do get into the 80s as we go towards the morning into the afternoon here, 12 o'clock. We're feeling really warm in the valley, mid to upper 90s, likely by 3 p.m. Here feeling like we're around 98 in Springfield, around 96 in Northampton, also in Greenfield. And then we do start to uh, cool down a little bit as we go into the overnight by 10 o'clock. Still feeling very warm out there, though. Feeling like we're in the upper 70s to around 80 and uh, overnight low temperatures will fall back into the upper 60s and low 70s. So either way, the heat and humidity as the top of the 20 News Storm Team forecast focus. There's a better chance for some scattered showers and even a chance for a thunderstorm or two as we go into the late afternoon and evening on Friday. Right now, the weekend still holding on to the chance for scattered showers, not a washout by any means. But there will be some scattered hit or miss showers throughout the weekend on Saturday and also on Sunday. In terms of humidity, again, today, tomorrow, down through Saturday, really high humidity continuing. And then we'll try to see some improvement as we go into next week with temperatures returning back into the 70s. But still could be a little sticky on Monday, but definitely will be feeling a lot better than it has been over the last few days. We have Hurricane Lee, Category 1 hurricane as of the 5 a.m. advisory. The next advisory comes out at 8 o'clock this morning from the National Hurricane Center. Really organized and really uh, healthy looking here on satellite radar. Again, right now currently a Category 1 hurricane with winds of around 80 miles per hour. This will push off to the northwest as we go throughout the west, uh, rest of this week. And uh, this has been an updated uh, cone from the National Hurricane Center here. Uh, by Saturday afternoon, could be seeing a very high end category for a hurricane right on the brink of a category five, which is 157 miles per hour or more. Right now, forecast to be 155 miles per hour by the two o'clock advisory on Saturday. We'll have to watch this as it turns off to the north as we go into this weekend and as we go into next week as well. But for right now, it's quiet out there. Nothing to worry about here in western Massachusetts and most of New England. Nice clear skies out there this morning. As we go throughout the day, a lot of sun will be in the forecast through the afternoon. 12 o'clock here, nothing but sun. By 5 p.m., we do stay nice and sunny. But then as we go into the evening, there's going to be a round of some thunderstorms that tries to work its way into the Berkshires uh, and mostly staying off to the west of the valley as we go into the overnight hours. And by tomorrow, I think is a better chance here for some showers and storms to work their way into the valley. 6 p.m. on Friday, you can see some of these showers and storms. So mostly uh, the showers and storms 
likely hold off until tomorrow for the valley. So 90 to 94 for today. As we go through tonight, we're in the upper 60s and low 70s. A spot afternoon rain shower, or excuse me, overnight rain shower. And for the rest of the 20th storm team, seven day forecast. Better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms comes for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Showers are likely as we go into the weekend. Temperatures in the 80s. We're back into the 70s as we go into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. If you want to stay with us on and online, you could do so by getting the free Twin News mobile app.